We have one last thing to do for the get bet method. Now, I should have noticed this earlier, but it does say zero to quit, but it, there's no mention of what the value should be between. So let's look right here. Enter bet between So we have a minimum bet that is, I'm going control B, declared here, and then it's set down here. So in the constructor, minimum bet is set to 10. So it's between minimum bet and All right, you need to put the player's money in here. So I have a lot more methods for player, but one of them is get money. There we go. So enter bet between minimum bet and get money. So let's run this and see how it looks. I've uncommented a few more things. Uh, I displayed state hidden. We'll look at that in a minute. So enter a bet. Obviously, I need an extra space right here, but I won't care about that for this. You need a space between the zero and the A. All right, let's enter five. All right, as you can tell, I didn't write the logic to check and make sure. Uh, all right, enter between zero and 95. 50, all right. So there we go, at least it is, now notice my money's going down each time uh, because my set bet method takes the whatever you put in it for the bet it removes that from the money and stores it in the bet variable and because I don't process the bets properly that bet money just disappears because I'm going to set the next bet on the next round there's another method that's going to be similar to get bet and that's when you're asking the player to hit or stand and you're going to do something very similar to what you did here and i think mine was while choice not equal to one and choice not equal to two that's how i kept looping and i think my default choice was zero or negative one so it's very similar to this except obviously putting a different statement out here uh one to stand two to hit i think is what i did um, and if they don't type in a one or a two, meaning you can't parse it to a one or a two, then you just ask them again and keep asking them until they give you a one or a two. One last thing, let's do display hidden, display state hidden. All right, let's see what's going on here. One is a player. So the player has a method called display. And what that does, it displays well, currently it just displays name and the cards. Uh, you're gonna probably wanna put in the amount of money and the amount of bet in with the display method. And I use the display methods, each have a print statement inside of them. So you don't have to do, you don't wanna do this. Oh, come on right here because my display methods return void they don't return a string so they're not meant to be put inside of a print statement that are meant to be called all on their own so one dot display will display the player one dealer dot display remember dealer is also a player so it displays a dealer normally you don't want to show the dealer's hand during the game uh, and then I wrote one for draw pile and I think draw piles a hand. Yeah, I made draw pile a hand. You could make it a deck if you want to. I don't think it really needs to be a hand. I just did it. All right, so let's work on player next. I think that would be a good place to go. And again, control, shift, delete stops your code from running. <laughs> 